I said before, I, I didn't know where I was going to be on projects, but I'm feeling pretty decent, so I'm just going to try to work on this one a little bit. <clears throat> As you saw before, I had bought the Lumar Vertical Windless. Um, I had bought it <laughs> long over a year ago. And the more I got to looking at it as I went to install, there was no way it was going to work. I had even built a one inch spacer to try to raise it up. The problem with that windlass is, is there is no, in a Bayliner 2455, there's no anchor locker. Um, there is a cavity up at the front, but it's not an anchor locker. It was never intended to be an anchor locker. It's not very deep and it didn't even have a drain. And remember that was something I had to put in because it was just water getting stuck there. But yeah, any way I looked at it, there was no way I had enough fall that the rope would not get tangled up. The only possible way that it would work is if every time you brought the anchor in, you went up there and literally flaked, crawled up there and flaked it off to the side. And even then it was going to be tight, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of having the windlass in the first place. you got to crawl up into the little cabin. So I went ahead and sold it and I got the drum windlass. Actually, one of the subscribers on the channel suggested it. He got one for his. It's not as pretty but it works. It just sits on the deck and rolls it right onto it. Actually a lot more expensive than the Lumar was, surprisingly. I thought it might be cheaper, but the uh, I think on the 2455 without having an anchor locker it's kind of the best way to go. And like I said before, the reason a windlass is so important is because like I said, with my past sailing experiences and other boating experiences, pulling the anchor is a pain. It wears you out. Everything is covered in muck. It's it, A lot of times, it really can be a deciding factor on whether you go and do something simply because you don't want to pull the anchor again. Uh, I don't want that to be a problem, and especially the way I'm feeling now. It's a big job, so if I ever did get to take it out, it's much easier to have the windlass just pull forward and have the windlass pull the anchor up. And standing up there yanking on that thing and getting covered in muck and everything else. So that's why I know it seems stupid, but that's why it's so important to me is because of past experience knowing you will base your decisions on whether you're willing to raise the anchor again and move or not. So we're just taking that out of the equation. But what we have to do now is this huge thing. We gotta take it up there and position it, and then we have this, which is uh C view. You run the cables through it and screw it down and it clamps together and it's supposed to be waterproof. There's a lot of good reviews on it. So well hopefully it works, but we gotta install that. But we have to position it where this is in the anchor locker area, so we'll have to go up there and figure this out. Before I had it run back, but you have to remember there's only a short space and then it's actually coming through the roof of the cabin where you're sitting, so you gotta have to be careful where you put that, but we gotta get up there and figure it all out. So let's do it. It's pretty close. Right here is a line where it's no longer solid, so I can't move too far forward. I'm trying to mount this piece. Probably gonna have to go right there. Just trying to figure out if this thing is straight. Hell. 
All right, so back up here. I was trying to get this thing installed and ended up having to stop because these bolts that came with it don't go all the way through. So I had to order, because I'm in the middle of nowhere, I just went ahead and ordered some 3 8 12 inches that I can cut off. And it looks like these are only short maybe that much. <sighs> Trying to do a little bit, but I can't get too deep into anything because got to get up at 4 in the morning to go to chemo tomorrow. So I don't want to open anything that can't, you know, shut. But we'll get these bolts cut off and I might go ahead and install this today. At least get it bolted down, not installed, but I went ahead and marked. Uh, yeah, you can see it. I went ahead and marked this to where they got to be cut off. So I'm going to go down and cut these off. Just doing what we can do. All right. I got butyl tape on this. Let's see. for the inside oh. <sighs> so this is fun now we have this plate and we got to put on and then all the bolts as well That's what I was afraid of. These things aren't completely straight. So being so long, that plate's not lining up. I finally got it up in here. What I had to do was this further forward bolt. I had to pull it out, screw the others up tight so the plate was tight, and then push it in. the fun oh. Oh. Well, we got it bolted down as you can see it squeezed through it was a bit of a challenge I was hoping to put in the uh, access for the cables today but I just don't have it in me That took more of a toll on me than I thought it was going to. So we're gonna call it a day and see what happens tomorrow with the doctor and the chemo and go from there. Alright, so we got the winch installed. Now the next thing we need to do is the wires. So we have the C View cable seal and uh, this is how we're gonna to have to run the power wires through the deck first thing we got to do is separate this basically what this does is you screw this down to the deck that's the first step once we do that put this cover on and then we drill our holes and you pull it up run your wires through and then screw that down and that seals them off so first step is screw this in so, get to it. All 
as usual I left the screws down there that down oh wow go figure these are a hex bit not a Phillips so we don't have one of those I don't think I gotta go down anyway my dry mouth is bad what the heck this is ridiculous I went down there and tried every wrench I had. Yeah, it works. So there's two ways to do this. One, use a drill bit to drill the holes for the wires to go through. The other is a drill tube. They give you the tubes, but to use the tube, to use the tube, you need soap and water and I'm drilling two holes. I don't want to drill the hole through and then try to get all the rubber out of the tube so I can use it again. So I'm just going to do a drill bit. But to use a drill bit, you're supposed to screw this all the way down tight so that the rubber don't move. So, alright, so we got it screwed down. Now we got to drill our two holes. I have to figure out what size drill bit. These ends, ends are slightly larger. It is about the same size. I think that was long enough. I might drill these holes bigger. Now what you're supposed to do is Take the knife, cut. Ah, <sighs> oh, stupid. I knew I was going to do something stupid. <clears throat> I thought it fell off. I did it again. <sighs> this is what happens when you start to do something, but you want it done today. Like I said, not a how to watch this idiot screw it up. Hi, right, so we're back up here to fix my problem. The other day, I was entirely too worn down and I shouldn't even have attempted that. But, yeah. Uh, it's hard to get this to shade. But what I did was, the holes are too small for the wires. 
So when you push them through this gap here and the gap around the wires isn't closing. I don't know what the heads of those things were. That's an expensive fitting. You're looking at like 40 bucks. And I don't know, I said 25. I had five different bit assortments and I couldn't find anything that fit it. So then what happened was as I did it wrong and I had it screwed down and they stripped out. So I came up here with my little shop hammer and the thing of hex bits or stars, the torques. And uh, I hammered it into the stripped out one enough to get it out. Then what's funny is a year or two ago, I ordered an assortment of stainless steel screws or bolts. And I got this box and they're all freaking tiny. I'm like, I just, I don't know what happened. I was probably just looking at the wrong thing. But I was like, I'll never use them. But uh, I went ahead and threw them into the boat. And thank God I did because it just so happens that I have the right size to uh, fix this. So thankfully I got the screw. And I was like, man, if I drill those out, I'll screw up and hit this thing and it won't. It's going to be a mess. But thankfully I was able to get them out. And thankfully I saved that old stupid assortment of tiny bolts I never thought I'd use. But. We're going to pull this out now, and basically all we have to do is go get that now and uh, just drill bigger holes. Uh, so I'm much happier with that. There's still a little gap there, but what I did notice is from over the weekend, it did close up more, so I'm expecting that to do the same. But I'm much happier. I was so beat down and pissed off when I left here.